Welcome to AEDT 1170U Psychological Foundations and Digital Technologies. This video will tell you about the course outline and what the learning outcomes are and the expectations for you as a student in this course. I'm Wendy Barber and I'm really looking forward to having the chance to work with you as the semester progresses. Each of the video clips will have some video analysis questions at the beginning and to help you guide your viewing of the video and get the major concepts out of each video clip. They'll also have synthesis questions at the end that you can take forward to discuss in tutorial. First of all, take a look at what are your learning outcomes and your goals for this course. This might be different for each one of you, but it's important to identify these and let me know so that I can help you be successful in the course. What will you contribute to our online community? Each one of you arrives as an adult learner with a variety of experiences and strengths and a different biography that will really enrich our community. So consider what you're going to contribute to this online environment. How do you think this environment will be different? Perhaps this is your first online course or you have taken a lot of online courses. In any case, this course has some synchronous and some asynchronous elements to it. So think how you're going to make this learning environment work for you. We do have access to Blackboard. All of the course documents will be posted in Blackboard and you can reach me at email at any time if you have any questions as we go through the course. So please feel free to ask questions as we go. What is your learning style and what success criteria will you need for a great learning experience online? This is an important question because learning online can be quite different than learning in a face-to-face -face environment. What kinds of things are important for you depending on your history, your success as a learner, and how are you going to make it work for yourself? Here are the identified learning outcomes for the course. One of the goals of the course is to provide an initial orientation to the field of the psychology and human-machine interaction. So we're going to be looking at some general principles of psychology and how that relates to the digital world. Learners will begin to think deeply about how adults learn in a technology-rich environment, what are the issues related to this, and how that learning may or may not be different or better or worse than a face-to-face -face environment. Some of the topics that we'll take a look at will be considerations for your workplace environments, experiential learning that includes formal and informal learning, uh, the role of social media in the human condition, we all know how important that is, the interplay of human technology relationships. Again, the course outline is posted on Blackboard so you can have a written text document if you prefer to refer to that and all of the readings are posted in that document as well as posted on Blackboard. Here are some of the topics that we'll take a look at. The psychology of adult learners. How do people learn online? What does it mean to be in an online community? And what is transformational learning as opposed to reformational learning? And how has that changed in our digital world? We'll take a look at motivational theory and how that changes or doesn't change in a digital learning environment. We're also going to take a look at some general theories of personality and how that relates to the online learning environment. What about gender and learning? There are some really significant issues about gender and technology that we'll take a look at. We will examine a whole module on the psychology of social media. We'll take a look at workplace learning and we're also going to take a look at spirituality and wisdom and how technology has affected us and affected the human condition. The course is a 36-hour, three-credit course that will be uh, delivered in 12 modules and each of those is going to have video clip sessions which is approximately one hour broken down into three clips that you can look at asynchronously on your own time. There will also be one hour synchronous group tutorial. You can register and select in one of the tutorial times um, and you must be in tutorial, you must be physically present in the tutorial session. Those sessions will be run by the TA and they will connect directly to the synthesis questions and the topics from the videos. The final element of each module will be your time devoted to online activities such as self-directed learning, forum discussions, and some of the problem-based learning components that you're going to be looking at. The course is designed in problem-based learning and is constructivist, so what you bring to the experience will determine the quality of your experience. Evaluation in this course is as follows. 
first assignment is an individual case study presentation. The details of all these assignments are written in the written course synopsis, which is posted on Blackboard. The second one is an article review that you will do also by yourself on a topic of your choice. You will have a chance as a small group to lead a group study session on one of the modules during tutorial. And that topic will be also something that interests you out of the topics that we have studied in the video clips. Your problem-based learning group task will also be a major portion of the course. And finally, you'll have a reflection paper or a video that you can choose whatever digital format you like to present to the class in tutorial. The synthesis questions are there to assist you with analyzing the ideas that you heard during the video clip and ideas that you heard from others when talking about this clip during tutorial. So for this video clip, here are the synthesis questions. What resources will you need to access to design a learning program that works for you? What challenges do you think you'll encounter by following the learning modules and how can you help yourself to succeed? What are your responsibilities as a member of our online community? It's very important to look at the strengths that you bring because wherever you are in your learning journey, whether you're a technology expert or not, you have something of value to bring to our community. And I really look forward to finding out what those skills are.